friends. Do I have anybody who would like to be a preferred child of God? Anybody here? Are you sure? I'm showing you a great secret. You, you must be a grateful child, even to your a, a grateful member, even to your pastor. Oh, a note to your pastor. You are summoned to the bless me, sir. May God reward, sustain, and keep you and bless you. Okay? Leave that monitor. Look up and look at me. Some of you are busy looking uh, to see whether you have appeared on. That's not why I brought it. I'm teaching you secret. God prospers by instruction. Every child of God must be a student of the word. How many of you, more, how many of you know that the more revelation God grants you, the more elevation God will give you. The more revelation you receive from God, the higher you will go in life. God said to Abraham, I will, I will give you this land. And he built an altar. An altar of gratitude. An altar of thanks. An altar of appreciation. Let's go to chapter 13 verse 4 of the book of Genesis. Anybody? To the place of the altar which he had met there at first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. Repeat it. To the place oh, of the altar. What are these our engineers? I thought I had asked you to find a way of Projecting the Bible passages with quotes. Who told me you get the cassette? You have not done that. Okay, read on. To the place of the altar which he has made there at first. And now, there, now, Abraham. Now let, me, now, let me come back. Every Christian must have a place where you kneel down every day in your house. That place is a place of, is your own altar. You must have a particular place you kneel down. Don't join those who kneel up and down. You must have a particular place where you kneel down. Where God will send an angel to stand and wait and receive your, all your sacrifice of praise. When we sing to God, the Bible calls it sacrifice of what? Praise. That place you kneel down to pray must be a regular place. Because the angel that <clears throat> is sent by God to receive your offering goes there to hear what you will say. And let me also surprise you. Whenever you are in trouble, whenever you are sick, outside your home, ask them to take you back to that place where you normally kneel down. There is a presence there that is awesome. There is an angel there that is powerful and can confront what confronts you. If you get sick in her back, tell them to carry your back. My wife is my witness in, in 1984. We were preparing for greater protocol for Christ's crusade. I was dropping down a staircase and I lost, I missed one step and fell on my wrist. And the bones here were broken. And my hand became withered. I was shot, I couldn't write with this hand. I couldn't drive with this hand. The doctor who saw me said, Reverend, we shall confine you to our hospital bed for two months. Okay? I have a crusade tomorrow for the Apostolic Church in Abba. He laughed and said to me, When the pain shall start, you will not remember your name. But a voice came to me and said, Let them carry you back to that place of prayer. Listen to the same messages you preach to others. As you fall under the anointing, so shall you fall. And while you lie under the anointing, I will replace your bones. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I 
Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to hear me. What makes a man a great man are the secrets of God that God will reveal to him. He didn't say anything. Say something. If we should start acting as though you're already asleep, are you awake? You must learn how to respond to, to revelations God throws out. When you say Amen, it shows you are, you are following what God is trying to teach you. We are here that can we turn to the book of Job chapter 29, let's say verse 4, 5. Quickly, quickly, somebody read to us. The book of Job chapter 29, verse 4, 5, 6. Anybody? Madam, open your Bible. Stop looking at the camera. I'll remove these things. See that distracting you. Yes. Just as I was in the days of my prime, when the friendly counsel wait, of wait, God. Wait, 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 wait. That is not Bible. What Bible is that? Can you read me, Old King James? Yes. As I was in the days of my youth. Everybody hear this line. He said, when the secret of God was with me. What makes a child of God a great person? Are the secrets that God will reveal to him. And this night, as you listen to me, when you run into any new revelation, write it down somewhere. Hide it in your heart. That is what will prepare you for greatness. Don't just look at me and open your mouth. No, no, no. no. I am here to show you the secrets of God. You cannot reach your appointed place in life without secrets of God. Everything, every business has secrets. Marriage has secrets. Long life has secrets. Prosperity has secrets. Promotion has secrets. And as a child of God, you hunger after these secrets. You thirst after this secret. You long after this secret. Doesn't matter how young you are. I was 10 years old when God showed me how to confront demons. 10 years. My headmaster asked me, you mean at this tender age, you already have juju? Because a madman came to a school and sacked the school. And God said, you also can sack the madman. So I said to the madman, they call, I command in the name of Jesus, roll out of this school. And he fell and began to roll. Schools were, students were heading after me. My headmaster called me and asked me, you mean as young as you are, you already have juju? I told him this juju was made by God, confirmed by the name of Jesus, authorized by the word of God. He said to Tomorrow you will be a, from tomorrow on you'll be our pastor. Don't carry your head, you soon sleep up and blame it on Satan. Job said, When the secret of God was around me, the greatest in life is to seek this secrets of God. The Bible says, Things that belong to God are hidden. But the ones let's go to Proverbs 29 to 29. What does it say? Proverbs 29 to 10, what does it say? We shall come back to you. Don't sit down yet. Okay? Stand up. You've not finished reading. Anybody help us? Yes. No, do tell me 29, 29. Proverbs 29, 29. Proverbs 29. Do tell me 29, 29. We're not hearing you. You have bedroom voice. Come and give her the, everybody listen what listen to what she's reading. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. Wait, the Bible is saying, how many of you know that gold is buried? Diamond is buried, crude oil is buried. Every everything of great value is buried. The Bible is now the Bible now said the secret things of life they belong to God. What does that mean? What will make you rise up and be higher than others is buried. It's a secret. 
What to make you live long is a secret also. How many of you know that one of the greatest preachers under the sun is 90, 91 years and he's still preaching? They were asking him today, what is the secret behind your long life? Only God can reveal it to you. Only God can. The secret things of life, they belong to God. Read on. But those things which are revealed. Once they are revealed, they are revealed for us to use. Yes, go on. Belong unto us and they to our children to us forever. And to our children forever. What am I saying? Look up and look at me. See, all those who are trying to sleep, this is why I don't like all night. Some people, you know, I hate all night. Some people come to all night to sleep. Without, you should have slept before coming. When you come to an all night meeting, it's a time to, to dig deep into the Bible and find the secrets there. Because during uh, evening meeting and morning meeting, everybody's conscious of time. You want to go home early enough, but during an all night meeting, you have so many hours that can change your life. You look too young to sleep, madam. If you sleep again, I'll make you stand. So better start fighting sleep now before I ask the cameraman to focus on you. God does not place gold along the streets. What does that mean? Precious things are not for idiots, not for lazy men. Precious things are for the diligent and the intelligent. Those who are, who are ambitious. Those who want to ride the winds. Those who want to rise higher than others. Those who want to live a life that is, that is a miracle. Those who want to live a life that demands supernatural explanation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Have you ever gone to an examination and saw some people finish before you and walked away as though the questions were for children. Why you're still struggling with the first question, second question, they have passed their papers already and they're moving away. Do I have anybody who wants to have the secrets of the Lord? Are you sure? Raise up your hand. Are you sure? How many of you know that to dig for gold will take time and will cost money? It will cost you time and money. I want you to be willing to learn. Let's go back to Job chapter 29. Okay? Focus on these people who are tempted, not on me. Everybody has been seeing me. Those who have never appeared on TV before, let them appear. Yes, what does he say? Job 29. Who was reading, reading for us here? Job chapter 29. That's what? He said, when the secret of the Lord was with me. Yes, read on. Do you have it? As I was in the days of my youth. When the secret of the Lord was about me. Yes. When the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. Yes. Go on. When my children... When the Almighty was yet with me. When the Almighty was yet. There are two things there. God was revealing to Job his secrets. And God, I mean, Job also had what you call the abiding presence of God upon him. When you have the abiding presence of God, every arrow aimed at you will not reach you. If anybody will aim an arrow at you, he will miss you. If anybody will shoot a bullet, he will miss you. Anybody who is looking for you will not recognize you again. Every plan of the enemy to harm you will always miss you. So, there are two things that Job had which you must ask God to give you. The secrets of God and the abiding presence of God. The abiding presence of God makes you unstoppable and unmolestable. Raise your hand and say, I am now unstoppable and unmolestable. The presence, the abiding presence of God will